Now, as many of you may already know, I have mentioned countless times in previous videos that I run Microsoft ads or Bing ads alongside my Google ads for my businesses. So many people have requested this video on my strategy for Bing ads, and I'm gonna be giving that to you in today's video. Now, just before we do jump into it, if you are interested in working with my Google ads agency, I'll leave a link in the description to that. Simply fill out the form at the bottom of the website if you want to work with us. I did if you are a growing business and you're struggling with Google Ads, we will help you manage and scale your accounts, ultimately scaling your business as a whole. So I'll leave a link at the top of the description. Now at the time I'm making this video, Bing Ads is now called Microsoft Advertising, but many of you may know it as Bing Ads. And that is essentially because the ads you'll be running will be served on the Bing search engine. And it works very much like Google, the whole account structure that you're gonna be managing, very similar to Google. and it's in terms of how much time it takes me to manage my Bing Ads accounts for my own businesses, I honestly spend 15 minutes once per month on each account, just basically excluding products if they're not performing well, and then adding in new products or new releases that I may have released over that past month. But it really is, for me personally, a set it and leave it type advertising account. So it's not as hands-on as Google, and that simply is down to the lack of people that use Bing compared to Google. For me personally, it brings a higher return on ad spend than Google. And I attribute that to the type of user that uses Bing. A lot of business people use Bing on their work computers. You'll often find an older demographic using Bing as well because they'll simply just use the default browser that comes with a new laptop they purchase, for example, because they're not too familiar with how to, you know, install Google Chrome and things like that. But nonetheless, if we jump into my account here, this is for my USA business. You can see since the 1st of July last year until present day, I'm recording this on the 18th of April and this is pretty much when I started being ads for this account I'll show you that in a minute when I do the entire time but you can see since summer last year I spent just over 20,000 pounds and generated just under a hundred thousand pounds in revenue for my USA business 1300 conversions giving me a 4.5 return on ad spend which is obviously very good and if you compare that to my Google results probably from this time period my Google is probably sitting at around a 3.3 ROAS but Obviously, it's nowhere near as scalable. So I just wanted to show you this to show you it does work. And I'll quickly hop over to my UK account. Uh, yeah, you can see this is my UK business. This is the entire time I started Bing ads much, much earlier for this business because it is an older business. Now, you can see I started really in Q1 2021. So over two years ago, obviously, you know, £13,000 spent. We've had 1,100 conversions, returning a 42K in return. Now, if we just quickly change this to get the actual ROAS 3.2 for my UK store obviously not as good as the US but my USA site is spending significantly more per day on Bing now you're going to wonder how I set this all up and basically how I got to this stage now the first thing you want to do is simply make a Microsoft advertising account I'm not going to do a tutorial on it it's so so simple it takes about two minutes and once you've done that you then want to go ahead and make a Microsoft Merchant Center account literally again exactly the same as Google and to get to the merchant center section you just click the merchant center thing at the top of the screen here and it will prompt you to create a merchant center account and then you can give them your product feed from Shopify now many of you may already use this app on your Shopify store to submit your products to Google it's exactly what I do it's the Simprosis Google shopping feed app this essentially submits all your product data to merchant center on Google and it does exactly the same for Bing as well now you want to link your Bing or Microsoft advertising account to the Simprosis process app and you'll then be able to submit your products through to Merchant Center and you can see on this column here that these products or most of them are submitted to Microsoft slash Bing for advertising. Now I know I haven't gone through in detail about how to set this all up. There are a million other videos probably on YouTube on how to do this so if you haven't got an account perhaps go and watch one of those and come back to this video but if you are watching I'm presuming you do already have your account set up. So let's move on to the next thing and that is going to be conversion tracking you want to be able to track your conversions on Bing the same way you do on Google Facebook TikTok whatever platform you're using it will steer the spend to the better performing products to put it very simply now I found this to be a lot easier than Google because I often recommend people go to a developer on five to get Google conversion tracking set up for me all I did was go through the sim process app you go to tracking tags up here click the Microsoft option which is the second one now all this will simply do is prompt you to connect your Microsoft advertising account again you'll be able to tick 
what tracking tags you want to import over. I recommend having all four of the options. You can see for me, they are all active. Once you've ticked them, once it's set up, it will take about 30 seconds. You'll get the uh, successful message and you'll see that all tags are active. So it will measure your purchases, your add to carts, begin checkout, and it will also know what people have been to your website so you can remarket them as well. Now, before you even set your campaigns up, there's something that you probably should consider and do. For example, let's just look at the screen here. You can see the last 30 days on my UK businesses Bing account, we have a 0.5 ROAS, which is obviously extremely poor. Now, the reason for this is a couple of months ago, I believe at some point in February, Microsoft made it compulsory to run ads on their audience network or otherwise kind of known as like the Google Display Network, but their own version of it. And you can't manually opt out of that by unticking a box. So a lot of my ad spend on this account was then going over to the audience network, which I'm sure if you're familiar with the display network on Google, it just doesn't work and doesn't convert cold traffic. So onto the breakdown of the campaign I'm running on this account, you can see last 30 days, a total of 1500 pounds was spent, 1100 of that on the audience network you can see here, and you can see the total conversions is zero. Not a single conversion from over a thousand pounds spent, 26 conversions, however, from the 448 pounds spent on the search ads, which is what you want your ads to be shown on. Because you're running shopping ads, you want them to appear on the search engine because that's where shopping ads are displayed. Now, there are two ways you can actually opt out of this, and I really do recommend it because it will spend the majority of your budget otherwise on these absolutely terrible audience ads and you just won't get anywhere with it and i am actually very surprised this is being forced onto people's accounts and there is no easy option to get out of it now the first way you can do this is on your campaign settings down here on the left hand side if you scroll down to the exclusion section here you'll be able to manually enter a few urls i spoke to the live chat support microsoft ads uh, about a month ago saying you know how can i get out of these audience ads and they advised to put these four URLs in the exclusion section within your campaign. I did this for both my USA and UK website. It worked for my USA website by adding these URLs and I was then getting no impressions or spend on the audience network, which is what you want. However, adding them to my UK site, it didn't work. It continued to spend 90% of my budget on the audience network. So obviously I approached the live chat again and basically said, this needs to stop. How can I opt out of the audience ads? completely for my campaign now what they did took my details down they forwarded it to an internal team whoever that is but I basically got an email about 24 hours later just asking me to double confirm that I want to opt out of audience ads they'll try and sell you and basically say oh we really think you should keep them because they're beneficial for growing your business but from my experience and you can see for yourself with the results they just aren't so I said you know please opt out and then another day later they did confirm that they've completely you know stopped running audience ads on my account and this was literally a couple of days ago so you can see the you know number of clicks i'm getting drastically decrease but you can see my revenue starting to increase with the spend dip and that is because i'm getting less clicks from the audience network and the spend is only going on search and therefore my conversion rate is going to be much higher so the next 30 days my ROAS will be up to the typical at least three sort of 3.2 for this account now if we quickly just go through the campaign creation process just to make sure you are are selecting the right tiles here very simple what you want to do is select the you know sell products from your catalog i have tested smart shopping for me it doesn't work standard shopping is my choice of campaign for bing hit next and please again make sure you're hitting search ads we do not want audience ads but please make sure you do what i just said uh, to make sure you don't appear on that network because despite clicking search ads here you will still appear on the audience network if you don't opt out properly now daily budget i spend around 70 to 100 pound a day Day for the USA site and around 30 or 40 pound a day on the UK site once things sort of settle back down now I'm opted out of audience ads I personally haven't even managed to scale past 100 pound a day ad spend and that again goes back to what I said at the start there's just a very limited audience with being so don't expect to scale to the moon it's more so something you can run in the background just to get a few sales each day but it will obviously be very profitable so you can essentially set your daily budget to what you're comfortable with you know you can set it to a thousand but it probably won't spend spend anywhere near that. Now, the important thing here is the bid strategy. If this was Google, I would say stay away from maximized clicks, but because the traffic is so limited, you want as much of it as possible because it seems to be, and it almost has proven itself to be much more higher converting. So to get as much traffic as possible, you want the maximized clicks bid strategy. 
and obviously you want to set a maximized cost per click just so it doesn't go crazy now for me i have done a lot of adjustments over the months i've been running these but i have settled at around a 0.7 bid uh, for both accounts it's not quite the same but it is roughly around this mark you can start higher you can start lower you may want to start higher just to get the momentum going with the campaign and then bring it down slowly to where spend's not reducing but you are ultimately spending less per click and hopefully getting more traffic now once you've done that you want to go down to the product section all products again make sure you're selecting the country of sale correctly and also make sure you're selecting the targeted country here as well so for me it says canada ireland uk and usa i would want to obviously only target USA so make sure you're doing that as well and then once you've done that hit save your campaign is created now in terms of the structure of your account and campaigns take my UK site for example one campaign all products in it as time goes on I exclude products that don't convert however with my USA business you can see on your screen I split it into two campaigns a high ticket campaign and this is actually the lower ticket campaign so I put my higher priced items in the high ticket lower priced items in the low ticket and I mean you can see here that the ROAS on the high ticket is almost a six ROAS obviously helped by the product price so if you do sell products that have quite a different and drastic price point it is probably worth doing this you can simply hand select the products you want in each campaign and it's a good way just to manage it and you may need to bid higher for your high ticket campaign because naturally products that are priced higher often come not always but often come with a higher cost per click so uh, that is the reason I've done this and it has worked very effectively but other than that I just let it run I let it run like I said 15 minutes every month is usually what I spend within my own personal Microsoft ad accounts and you can see they are performing very well now like I said earlier it's not something you're going to scale to the moon it's not something you can probably rely on solely just run this in the background focus on other things like Google and Facebook because that's where the scalability is but a lot of money is being missed if you're not running Bing ads so definitely go ahead and set these up if you're running them already, let me know down below how you're getting on. And this is my strategy, maximize clicks, tweak the bids every now and then you'll find that sweet spot exactly like I've done and just let it run. Now, obviously there's no guarantee it's gonna work for every single business. You still need a great looking website, great product images, great landing page, just a great customer experience in general. So make sure you focus on those things as well. I will have another video coming out soon about how I also run Pinterest ads, just in the background, very low spend, but they also yield a very high ROAS exactly like Bing so expect that to come out in the next few days as well now I know this has been quite a broad overview so if you've got any specific questions drop a comment down below or drop me a message on Instagram I do my best to reply to everyone and finally if you do want to work with my Google Ads agency go ahead and visit the link in the description to adraw.co.uk our team has expanded recently so we are able to take on a few new clients so if you are looking to work with us now is the time to apply but other than that thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.